Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with less equipment, less soldier classes, niche builds, less hit points and of course stronger enemies via a better advent and a better chosen. Time for the Sabotage a Transmitter Mission Operation Doomstar where we're hopefully going to counter the Return Fire which is a pretty nasty advent ability. We're up against the Spectre Prime, Gatekeeper, and a couple of other baddies, and we're going to bring parts of the B and C team, the ones that are not yet fully leveled. Zirkim still trying to get to that uh, um, Colonel rank. Zukuger, Michael Public Bravo, Sandman, Rank Planet, and Secundus are going to join us. I've uh, slotted an EMP grenade against the Gatekeeper, Wrong Planet. Is rocking that uh, nice incendiary grenade haven't seen that in a while so might as well bring it back I actually like it quite a bit we got the plasma blaster and the rock launcher for the first time we're going to see a war suit unfortunately not uh, with the um, uh, with the promised uh, flamethrower so that's gotta wait a bit and yeah overall I am happy with what I'm seeing so let's directly launch the mission and Hopefully we can move in fast and furious. The one thing that is going to be annoying is the broadcaster on Zukuger because uh, the transmitter missions typically require you to act fast and continue to move and the broadcaster is the exact opposite. That weapon is very low on mo mobility and momentum. Fantastic, we just landed so and it's exactly time to destroy that to nasty nasty transmitter. We got an extra soldier. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter. Ming Shu has joined us from the resistance. Our intel uh, let's come up with an immediate plausible storyline. Oh, and here we got another one, an elite trooper. So Ming and this elite trooper were actually meeting underhand. Uh, he's a double agent and he's kind of uh, the guy on the ground. Um, and unfortunately, their cover got blown, which is why we're here. And they have no other way than uh, moving out I together found, with us. I found their patrol. We're near the objective. I am on the move. Good. Moving up. Carefully assessing what we're dealing with. Uh, Valkyrie, Shield Bearer, Elite Spectre, and Mamba. Okay, so the idea is to approach them next turn, but we can't wait for too long. This here should not trigger anything, hopefully. Okay, that's good. And Elite Trooper moves up into Overwatch Minx, uh, Minx does that as well. Got Zukuber here. Wrong planet over here. Solid copy. Mike over here. And finally Zirkim. Whom I think Got I'll just it. place over there. Good. If they decide to move and trigger, this could be a fantastic overwatch trap. Hmm. Well, so much for that fantastic overwatch trap. Could move out to here uh, is that smart though or do we rather want to trigger those guys separately unless you could be a thing move and cover in engaging them nah not yet do we have Someone range? No, we don't. Oh, 
Okay, so this Can't should trigger. Okay, so far so good. Secundus moves up here. Oh, that should not trigger the other pack. <laughs> Great. Imagine if we wouldn't know that the other pack was here. That would be hilarious. It's one of those setups where you're almost sure to pull that other pack because you just don't know that they're there. Battle Frenzy into hitting that Mamba. Mamba's almost down. Like it, like it, I like it. Let's give that Mamba another laugh tap. And there we go. Nailed him. Nailed him. Well, that's exactly what you did, buddy. You precisely nailed him. Problem here is, in the moment that we go in much closer, we might pull these other guys. This here is the, the only place where we can position ourselves without pulling. Okay, Valkyrie. Uh, can we mark that Valkyrie? No, wrong planet. Is pretty much trapped on that side. Could use a grenade, don't want to do that. No, can't mark them, so let's try to hit him. That's no bueno. We're instead going to move as far as we can. So Hugo moves into the only cover that remotely will be meaningful. Archon Valkyrie, that's just Overwatch to be honest. And there we go, we triggered. That overwatch will not hit. Thanks to light reflexes. Should also not give him an extra action. Oh, come on. Oh, it gives him an extra action, although it did not hit. Is rather stupid. I know. My position's been compromised. Good. So technical analysis, it is. Um, Think that we need the claymore yet. Oh, I wish we could move just one bit closer, because that would be an insta kill. Suboptimal positioning, but I think we can still pull it off. Got a frag grenade, could throw that over here, but that's minimum damage, and that's uh, basically not what you want to do. Okay, I've got eyes on advent troops. <laughs> okay, 
Talking about what you not want to do. You cannot run. This is pretty much what you not want to do. Well, this is pretty much what you not want to do. Soon our prey will fall. Good, so that's five damage stacked on that other damage. And that's a double explosion. Quite expensive, but it's 10 points of damage. Plus a shredding. We are known to them. Good. Well, thank you. perfect time to use the refraction field has no cooldown can immediately use it moving up for a good overwatch here in the middle wrong planet can move up here and mark the Archon, which is what we want to do. Archon gets marked from high ground. Take some solid damage, that's good. get that up to 80% and an almost certain crit. I think that's okay. Nice hit. He's down to just a few hit points. Ah, that's not going to be enough, unfortunately. Seven, seven, seven. Spectre Prime is a prime problem of ours. Kill this guy. Try to end this guy. Potentially better off just moving in and shooting them. What's our. You, we gotta think a bit forward looking. There are three more enemies up here. And I want the sniper to be in a position where we can exploit our positioning towards them. Something along the lines of here. Seven to nine, what are we looking at? Zero percent crit chance, two, four, seven, that's nine points of damage. That's just a 33% chance of actually killing it. here would be a very high chance of killing it but also a chance to be revealed and we can't afford that this is the 100% kill that we're looking for moving back and from the protocol again no one inside so we're just going to teamwork this here if we were to move up 
I mean, we do have Blade Storm, so that's two potential hits to kill him. Alright, and Zirkim does his dirty deed. I think we can uh, use Minx here as as a uh, potential beacon. Sandman moves away. Don't want him to be revealed again. Yeah, he was trying to reveal him. No, nothing we can do. No. No. All right, Shadowbound. going to regret that my friend dearly tactical analysis means that they can only take a couple of shots and they're missing they're missing our agent but they are getting ready for next round nasty shields are coming up moving up and now it's time to hopefully penetrate uh, the prime stun it that's a good hit but not a stun we're looking at specter's speed This is triggering an overwatch, but we gotta trigger it sooner or later. Hmm. That's what I was hoping for. 50 50 to kill that guy. Or. Or we're going to have a kill zone. I think we, I, I'd rather go with a kill zone. He has taken an interesting position back there I go where I am needed ten to twelve all right let's kill this guy. 21 points of damage. Holy shit, that was great. The shadows fail us. Use our reveal, unfortunately. Good, we're moving up. Seventy percent on the stun lancer. We can do better than that. No problem, boss. Into full cover, and let's mark that stun lancer. No good. I'll get him next time. We're going to go Damn. with kill zone no to have the anywhere. three hits. Should have thrown the axe. Adjusting aim. It's okay. It's okay. I'm running low on ammo. Still Those guys are incredibly tough. Alright, we're moving up. 
and our quasi offering him is a token. Setting him up, he could be killed uh, with uh, the kill zone. Target still standing. If I don't make it, oh boy. Come on, kill him. Why am I even trying? There is nowhere to hide. We'll again someday. Good. They've taken our offering. Not even close. All right, double move into full cover. Are we finally hitting something with kill zone? I don't want to be critical about kill zone, but with low aim, that skill is something else. All right, a bit of healing to get sent man back up. Zirkin moves in. And that's going to be the kill. That's a little 16 points of damage, by the way. Sandman tries to get into the shadows over here. And this here should remove cover. Trooper moves up. Could be our se uh, second sacrificial lamb. Unfortunately, his comrade didn't make it out so far. Removing cover and the shield. We're still good on cover removal overall, and that whole thing unfortunately derailed a bit. And we were continuing to pull additional packs. Don't want to charge in. This would just end in tragedy. We're simply going to hit him. And that's that. He's nicely shredded. We know there's another pack right here. Elsewise, he wouldn't have moved away. Venice 1 5, they're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. Back in. On the move. Seems doable. Good. This round is a round where we're going to buy additional time. As much as we can, of course. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. Got it. I want that high ground. So that's, that's making a good case for just reloading and waiting okay. here. Three additional rounds. It was a pretty hard fight. Did I forget anything? No, I think we're fine. Moving to the front line over here. As you order, Commander. 
Sandman continues to spot out. I will always find and we're moving up. A patrol is up Alright, so Hooger again moves up. Overwatch. We're overwatching. Engaged. Trooper reloads. Potentially should have used the EMP bomb against that Spectre Prime. There is no point in not using it. But I'm still afraid of uh, the Gatekeeper, which is why I didn't use it initially. We're moving in. Sukuga takes the high ground here. Wrong planet moves to here. Like Public Bravo again takes high ground there. And we're buying ourselves yet again more time. So far, so good. I think we're okay on the timer. And maybe the worst is already behind us. Who knows? Taking a high ground here. Nothing. Okay, that's good. In that case, it's really good. Heading there now. Trooper moves up. So Cougar moves up, and I think Michael Public Bravo needs to take that Double great three. position up there. planet moves up okay cool so we're buying ourselves yet again more time as we capture quite a bit of territory here okay on the timing perspective now we're not picking up any more of those relays that's all the time we're going to get commander you can never eject it inside commander Okay, good. Should not have opened that door because wrong planet was inside to effectively be spotted out. That is highly uh, disturbing because we're going to take some damage and there is not much we can do about it. Plasma Blaster would be shredding, so that's a good lesson. It does not. Good, we're moving back. They still have technical analysis, so we're okay. Okay-ish, that is. That could be a stun. Ooh, lucky us. He was just about to use his stupid gateway. And we just stunned him right there. Minimal plate damage detected. Oh, sweet, sweet stun. I won't last long at this rate. What have you done? We Why? put our 
Alright. Go ahead and berserk, but please hit something. Dude, please. For the love of God, hit something. Good, we got the better position overall. And now it's a uh, now is a great time to remove all of this here. Back online. And basically eliminate three of them in one turn. MVP bold caster with that overwatch. Alright, no one's got their cover left over, 10 to 12, can we even 100% dead eye him? Yes we can, I'm not going to debate, uh, that is fantastic. Gotcha. Death from above, into the gatekeeper, off you go, gatekeeper takes some damage. Reloading. And let's finish the gatekeeper. You want some more? Moving over here. We are careful to not trigger additional packs. Reloading and uh, we got two shots here. Ready for the Might as well use our rocket launcher for once. So much for his cover, and unfortunately, we're not hitting. The other pack will potentially join us very soon. As predicted, as predicted that they were joining us. Given that we have nothing else uh, left to do, might as well Throw that big fat EMP bomb. 10 damage, hack defense minimized. Movement Moving in. Confirmed. Hair trigger, core, and all around good loot actually. This here should remove cover. And set them up for a nice double kill. And who could be better equipped for that than Mike the Public Bravo? Hitting for one. Down. And then using death from above to finish the mech. That's what I'm talking about. Got it. Good. The elite trooper finds himself in a one-on-one -on -one against that guardian. Potentially outmatched here, but can flank him next turn, so why not? I will not do anything with Sandman. Wrong planet moves up. And we're going to use our last consumables. Oh, nice. Oh boy, that, uh, that uh, grenade almost insta-killed him. And he's burning.
right, planting the C4. That might trigger reinforcements. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. All right, moving up here, one on one still. The lead trooper wants revenge for his friend that they killed. Does not get it. Mike misses the good old 98% shot. And we're going to nail this guy to the wall. 14 points of damage. Holy boy, that's great. Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch. We know he's behind here. At the beginning I was skeptical about their kind of Vanish rework. But now I start to like it. It kind of gives them something else uh, to do. Oh boy, and once we're, uh, once we're channeled up, oh, this is nasty. Alright, overall, more difficult than I would have expected, but I also didn't play the beginning entirely well. Good, we're landing, and I think we even got a promotion. Yeah, Sukuger finally makes it to that uh, highest rank. Got his restoration, and by the way, Ever Vigilant uh, really helped us in this particular case. Larim Core, that's great. Commander. And we countered a nasty dark event. Given that we get more powered weapons, maybe another war suit or wrath suit uh, could be uh, could be something that we want to invest in. You know what? Let's get one red suit. And I'll just have that in the back of uh, in the back of our mind just in case we need it. Avenger plotting new course. Good. We also successfully used the restealth, I think. Uh, the item is not as bad as I was giving it credit to because the Reaper Restealth normally doesn't work if, once you're uh, being forward. completely stealth, um, uh, taken out of stealth. And you can immediately restealth with that item. Unfortunately not in the case of the last mission where there was a codex sitting right next to us. And if we had moved away, we would have triggered a ruler reaction. But well in any up. other situation, you can move away and you can just restealth, which is great. Good. Health plus one, and we make immediate contact, which is good. Even if we lose uh, an area, we could immediately get contact back. Promotions are irrelevant. Uh, mobility is not that hot either. Don't get me wrong, it's good, but it's not that important. Um, having this here might be helpful. Plus one, uh, plus three aim on Jessica down to seven days might as well do it give our sniper a bit better aim my followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers this will prove to have been an important and here we go heavy reinforced armor so plus one hit point on all of the reinforced armors that's good that's actually fantastic uh, before we're continuing wait a second working within the tight constraints of the uh, we can already start this here finding room some of our more and we just override it uh, with doing backside uh, vial research. So in five days, I will begin we get another meeting. mission. 
priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. You have made Good. considerable progress against what, the aliens What um, is month, Commander, new? Well, I this year hit event might uh, need to be countered. Further success. Uh, this year would be nasty. I hate Viper rounds, so potentially want to counter to that. We got Metal Fortitude now, which we're uh, putting in. Oh, that's really, really good. And contact with regions is made instantly. Experimental ammunition now takes eight days. I think it's not the end of the world. This is a better resistance operation. Okay, we got that UFO there. I don't like that, so we're going to fly to the big market. Don't want to be eventually bound out and shut down. Market is open. Scientist, no thank you. Superior speed might be an option. Superior expanded magazine definitely is an option, don't get me wrong. Superior scope is definitely an option. I think we're fine. Ah, you know what? The superior speed... Um, the superior speed one is too good to let it pass. For 40 into. Okay, so... Let's shortly look into our spark here. Who I think so far has worked with an advanced scope. Yes, superior scope. And superior expanded magazine. Wonderful. Secundus has a nice upgrade there. Beast can, instead of superior focus, use superior speed. That'll give him even more mobility. Okay, what else do we need? I uh, don't want to go there. Uh, let's fly over here and gain some intel. I just want to avoid the UFO at this point. And just get to the next mission, really. And there it is. We will get supplies and intel. That's a dark VIP rescue mission, which we're going to do next. Once that is done, I think we're pretty much uh, ready to go uh, for that black side vial. So got to be careful or potentially taking a lower level team into that mission. I think most of our soldiers should be okay. But yeah, we potentially will take kind of that low-level uh, lieutenant and sergeant uh, team into that mission. Because this team here is still tired and we want to use it for the um, black side vial uh, mission, which is going to come up afterwards. Okay, we're still... There is still a chance to see that Archon uh, King. We want to kill it for the Icarus uh, armor. Other than that, no major enemy is alive. We're doing uh, that rescue mission. Potentially the Archon King is there. We're going to uh, do the Black Side Vile mission. And then it's maybe one or two more missions to hunt down the Archon King and do all of the research to finally go to Water World. So we're on our last lap here. Just enjoying the ride with the niche builds. I think it has been a blast so far, so I'm very much enjoying myself. If you enjoy yourself as well, feel free to uh, leave a comment and a like down below, and see you in two days. Bye-bye, guys.